The MW3 holiday event is now live. Let's break down all of the content we just got, including the new game modes, operators, event challenges, and mastery rewards. But first up here, let's break down the new bundles in the store. Tracer Pack Santa Nas Ultra Skin. Let's break this down here. Of course, we have the Klaus Operator Skin. Okay, looking pretty sick. I mean, it's definitely a super detailed skin. Definitely fire there. Uh, unfortunately, they don't show the actual animation when you get to the ultra level um in the bundle preview that would be fire if they did that but overall you guys can you, know, you guys know what the ultra skin is like as you get more kills over time the bundle glows gets more anime so right now it's a little dark in its base form but you know again as you play and use it more it's gonna get cooler and cooler definitely a cool vibe there we have an mcw weapon blueprint as well with horrifying holiday tracers and then an amr9 blueprint here so let's look at the tracers first just to see what these are all about okay so they went with more of a icy theme here i, I mean it would have been cool if we had like red and green christmasy tracers but it still is cool like an icy snowy type of look here look at that again yeah it's fire a little blood as well in there for the zombie holiday theme cool tracers overall let's preview this here weapon blueprint okay solid stuff uh nothing too extravagant it would have been cool again to see a little more of a holiday theme on the weapon blueprints i get they're going for the zombie santa vibe with the blood there uh but i don't know it would have been cool to see a little more color maybe but maybe you guys disagree with me on that let me know down below we have a zombie acquisition here as well brain rot ammo mod okay large decal santa's undead army we have a weapon sticker uh weapon charm and an emblem so Overall, a solid bundle there. It is 2,800 Ka points, a bit more than normal. Let me know down below if you'll be picking this one up. If you prefer the Pain Deer bundle, which is the other holiday bundle as well. And I'll be sure to update you guys if there's any more surprise holiday bundles releasing over the next couple weeks. So we also have the GG Easy Weapon Vault in the store officially. You were able to get this early with a glitch, but now it's officially here. Our first Weapon Vault in the game as well, which is pretty cool. We have it for the Holger 556 the Holger 26, and the DM56. Again, it's a universal wrap as well. So pretty much anything you change here, all the attachments you change, it'll still look and act the same, which is pretty cool. We'll preview this one here. Uh, they all have the same look, but it's a solid look there. Purple, blue, kind of a futuristic look. Not too bad there. Same look for all these weapons here. We have a calling card, echoes, a weapon sticker, charm, an emblem and double xp double weapon xp and double battle pass xp all one hour each in total 2400 cop points there so solid bundle there let me know down below if you'll be getting this one now for the event here santa's sleigh ground this is the main event a part of this holiday update we have a bunch of different rows here of challenges so what you're gonna see is that all the rewards are the same for each game so you can complete challenges in zombies warzone or multiplayer different challenges whatever you want to do but you're going to get the same reward so it doesn't matter if you want to do some for zombies some for warzone it's the same content you're getting which is cool let's break down all these challenges though first off for mw3 mp to get the first weapon sticker you need 40 operator melee kills with stalker boots equipped to get the double xp you need 40 operator kills with a weapon picked up from an enemy player to get the battle pass tier skip here get 100 operator kills with the dg58 lsw to get this charm here get six operator snowball kills in snowball gunfight to get the calling card get 40 operator headshot kills with a sniper dmr or battle rifle to get this emblem get 30 operator kills while playing infected holiday and to get this finishing move here get five operator kills while sliding or crouching now again to get the same rewards here for zombies the sticker get five special zombie kills with melee weapons get 400 kills with a wall by weapon get 400 kills with a pack punch dg58 lsw to get the charm get 25 kills with snowballs to get this calling card get 200 critical kills with snipers marksman rifles or battle rifles to get this emblem complete eight contracts to get this finishing move get 50 kills with stamina up active and finally for the war zone challenges here to get the sticker get 10 operator kills with marksman rifles in slay ride resurgence get 15 operator kills with assault rifles uh in slay ride resurgence get 15 operator kills with smgs to get the charm here get 15 operator kills with snowballs to get the calling card in slay ride resurgence get 15 operator kills with sniper rifles uh for the emblem get 15 operator kills with snowballs at over 25 meters and again for the finishing move in war zone in slay ride resurgence place in the top five 15 times and at the end here if you complete all the challenges for any of these modes doesn't have to be all of them obviously 
uh, you're going to get this mastery reward here. An ugly sweater, or ugliest sweater, weapon blueprint for the GG58 LSW, which we can look at here, is pretty cool. Now, honestly, again, like, this is cool, but I would have much rather seen probably a universal camo. Uh, you know, I, I like what they've been doing with the universal camos here. To get a blueprint for the reward is fine. It's a cool little blueprint, but again, I would rather see universal camos, maybe eventually a mastercraft weapon as the final reward is that too crazy i don't really know but let me know down below your opinions on that and then we also have the sleigh ride event as well both with two weeks remaining 14 days left here this one is just in war zone so sleigh ride secure christmas tree capture points hunt reindeer and hop aboard a runaway train with zombie santa in this hottie themed limited time mode resurgence survive during the resurgence countdown to return allies to the war zone earn score to shorten the duration and snowball fight find a cooler and stock up deadly snowball lethals have been added to the loot pool in urzikstan and of course in the what's hot playlist here in the kite hq you can see all the new hottie themed modes we have infectious hottie which is again just a hottie themed version of infected and mp we have snow fight multiplayer which is on the two new maps hangover and ship miss we have sleigh ride resurgence which is the hottie themed war zone playlist on urzikstan and hangover 24 7 which is of course the winter version of high rise with some mosh pit game modes and also a quick reminder be sure to check out my partner aim controllers they have really good customizable controllers for call of duty and other fps games in general something i personally use lifetime warranties there really solid quality controller be sure to use code matters for a discount over there links are down below really appreciate guys but for this event overall let me know down below your first impressions and opinions on it here's a look by the way at the new free finishing move you're getting as well which is pretty cool but unfortunately, this is probably like the best free reward we're getting here because that mastery reward of the blueprint for the DG58, right? It's okay, but as I've been saying, I, I was giving Sledgehammer props for all of the universal camos we've been getting for all of these events here and how I prefer that to a blueprint, but we're now back here at a mastery reward being just a simple blueprint, which isn't bad if it was a Mastercraft weapon with tracers. Like that'd be cool if that was just a blueprint, but this is just a standard blueprint ugly sweater with a cool camo it's a festive camo but it's just a simple blueprint reward i would much rather prefer a universal camo with a festive theme you could put on all the weapons or again a blueprint with tracers a mastercraft look an animated blueprint as well that would have been the next step and that would have been a bit more rewarding and satisfying to get that type of mastery reward for this event so it's not a big deal overall it's just a festive mini holiday event it's gonna last two weeks there oh the rest of the event is pretty cool the war zone stuff is pretty sick fighting zombie santa and you know killing the reindeer as well is pretty fun and doing all the little things getting the tree to level three whatever it's all pretty cool and for the mp modes they're okay as well infected a little lackluster it's just the operators and zombies that have a different look the maps all look the same zombies as well the zombies have a different look and the bosses look kind of different as well but overall no snow on zombies which i wasn't expecting snow but it would have been cool to have a little bit of a snowy theme on zombies uh, you know, the other modes as well, high res is pretty cool. Ship Miss, I think, is pretty cool as well. The Frozen version of Ship Miss, I think, is sick. It's not too festive. I don't know why they're calling it Ship Miss. Not, not really a Christmas vibe there, but it is cool. I like how it's frozen over. The Skybox is cool as well. So, overall, I think it's a W event, but they could have gone a bit further, in my opinion. But let me know down below your opinions on this. Is this event a W or an L? Are you right in the middle? What would you change? Let me know down below. Be sure to subscribe for more COD update videos like this. Shout out to the YouTube channel members as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.